Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Francesco and this is the first video of a series of videos where I will talk about audio production. Have you ever wondered about switching to Linux as your main OS and producing music on Linux? Well, I've asked this thing myself years ago and now I can show you why it's not only possible but you should switch to Linux to produce audio nowadays. The idea for this video came after the mini Debian conference 2020 where I talked about free tools and open source tools that we can use for audio production in Linux. So, I am a musician and I am a music composer, I compose game soundtracks and I will tell you why I switched to Linux and I use Linux as my main OS. I have some experience in recording studios and I never met someone that used Linux to produce music. I actually started to produce music on Linux on my old laptop. I bought this cheap laptop that after a while just broke. I switched to Linux from Windows 10 on that laptop because otherwise it would have been too slow to use for music production. So that was my first attempt as using Linux as my main OS to produce music and actually I've used that cheap laptop to record some tracks and some of my studio tracks that are part of my new album too. So I switched because of necessity. I need Linux to unlock the potential of that laptop. I needed Linux to have the control over my computer. Now I have three different computers all running Linux and I have also my workstation here running Linux too. Depending on which distro you wanted to use, Linux can use a little bit of RAM compared to Windows because Windows can just take one or two gigs of RAM out of nowhere, just starting the system. And that's a problem when you have a workstation, you want to produce audio and you want to use a lot of RAM to load many different plugins and many heavy VSTs that you have. Your heavy library will take a lot of RAM. If you have that RAM locked by Windows because it's used, it is used for something else, that's a problem. You want to have the control over your hardware. The thing that scared me when I was switching to Linux was the lack of professional software on Linux itself. Problem is many companies don't support Linux and they don't have Linux version of their plugins. So we have something called Wine. Wine is a program that allows you to run Windows programs on Linux. And luckily enough we have VST Bridges VST Bridges are programs that allow you to use Wine as a compatibility layer and you can run the plugins that you run usually on Windows you can run them on Linux just fine inside your door or outside if you want so this thing really helped me a lot because during the transition I used many many plugins that were only available on Windows and that's why I switched to Linux without problems at all also VST bridges nowadays are very easy to set up and are not so complicated why it's just working well and it's doing great also in video games because why is so good right now you can start Windows game on Linux without problems at all or at least most of them so after I found that I could run Windows plugins on Linux now I had to find some good though that can run on Linux. So my eyes were on Bitwig. Bitwig is a cool though made in Germany and that is not a free and open source though at all. You can run the demo but that's proprietary software and this though it's very nice. It's very I like that a lot but it was too heavy for my cheap laptop. I discovered Reaper that's also available on Linux but those are two professional programs and commercial programs that are available and that's great. By the way, there is another though that attracted me and its name is Ardor. Ardor is a very cool though and it's FOSS software and I think that they're improving a lot. The though now it's much better comparing that to years ago. Now we are at 6.5 version and I was surprised when 
I found this though because actually yeah you have to pay to download the latest version but you have to uh, donate something to have the dough. There are many free other DOS available on Linux like LMMS or ZRIDME. ZRIDME is newer, they're developing it and it's really fresh and new so you should try it if you are just coming to Linux right now and you want to try some new DOS because Ardor it's a little bit like traditional DOS. Talking about free tools and open source tools that we have available on Linux right now. There are many many plugins that you can find and that your DAW can run without problems. We usually refer to Linux plugins as LX VST or Linux VST or LV2. There are also LADSBA plugins that are just LV1 if you want to, to call them like that because LV2 is just the successor to LADSBA. So I mostly use free tools and open source plugins and there are many that are very very good for example there is Zine Add Sub FX that is a cool synthesizer that you can download and it's not free but you can compile that if you know how to do that okay now I want you to show a little bit of the Zine Add Sub FX interface so we have uh, some <laughs> weird note here going on so um, this is cool like you can see you have uh, many many options you can add uh, FX to, to your oscillators you have many effects you you can select different oscillator actually you can use up to eight voices here so for example you can st stack um, so on a square or a sine or a triangle um, right now we have just two uh, waves and we can see all the voices here on the voice list we can set the volume here the second oscillator is just a noise oscillator as you can hear and this first one is just a so we can uh, modify the single voices for example this is the first one, okay. This is the volume. We can change cut off. We can change all the parameters. We have LFO here. You have everything you need to create your scene to to shape your scene like you want. At first glance, you can be uh, scared by by this because it, it's not so straightforward like Helm. Uh, for example that's very simple to use but once you start using that it becomes really easy to understand where are all the things all the parameters that you need to shape your synthesizer cool things that is capable of doing anything anything really so that's that's really cool I recommend it and there is Elus that is a good and very very well done organ pipe simulator there are many sound fonts that you can run with proprietary software or non-proprietary software and free software you can run SFZ format and you basically have many samples of a huge variety of instruments for example I can suggest you FVSCO orchestra that has many many good samples that you can use in your tracks we have also Calf plugins. I use Calf plugins a lot. There are many many plugins that you can use. It's it's like a suite of plugins. There are EQs, compressors. There is everything you need to do audio mastering, mixing. There is everything and it's just gorgeous. There are also many other plugins that you can find in this GitHub repository here. Here you can find many many Linux programs and Linux plugins. Also you can find those and uh, this is a cool GitHub repository. If you need something, there is everything you need here. Link in the description below. We can say that Audio Linux is really improving. You have many projects under development. There are commercial tools that now support Linux too. For example, Pianotech plugins you basically can have a professional piano uh, plugin on Linux 
without problems running in native uh, LV2 format and, or Linux VST. Uh, you can use Windows plugins using YaBridge, that's a cool VST bridge that you can use and you can find the link in the description below. And I think that in general, trying Linux as your main OS for audio production, it's worth a try. You now have many choices. You have many those, you have many plugins, and if you don't have them, you can just use Wine. You can use Bridges and you can run them without problems at all. I will make more videos about this topic. So if you liked the video, please leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're just curious about my music and what I do, you can just check it out in the link in the description below. And you can tell me what you think about that. So thank you for watching and goodbye.